is on his fifth visit to West Asia since the October 7th attacks. The top American diplomat met Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and Blinken's now en route to Egypt. His latest West Asia tour was aimed at achieving another truce in the four-month-long Israel-Hamas war. The visit comes right ahead of a threatened Israeli assault on Rafa. The border city is currently holding over half of Gaza's population. Blinken's meeting with the Saudi Crown Prince lasted for around two hours. The US State Department said the two leaders discussed regional coordination to achieve an enduring end to the crisis. The ceasefire proposal reportedly envisions a truce of at least 40 days, when Hamas would free civilians among remaining hostages that they're holding, followed by later phases to hand over soldiers and the bodies of deceased hostages. The ceasefire offer, delivered to Hamas last week by Qatari and Egyptian mediators, awaits a reply from the militant group. Hamas says it wants more guarantees that the truce will bring an end to the war. A senior US official says the ball is in Hamas's court at the moment, adding that it's impossible to say if a breakthrough will be achieved. Blinken's latest West Asia tour is aimed at winning support for another US proposal. This second proposal is aimed at rebuilding and running Gaza post-war and ultimately for a Palestinian state. On Ground Zero, Israel has threatened a new ground assault on Rafa, the small city at the southern border with Egypt. It hosts over more than a million internally displaced people of the narrow strip. Israeli tanks have been advancing for two weeks in Khan Yunis and fighting has also been resurging in Gaza City at the north of the strip. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israeli forces have killed or wounded more than half of Hamas's fighting forces and would carry on until total victory. Israel's Defence Minister Yoav Gallant says Hamas's Gaza chief, Yahara Sinwar, was moving from hideout to hideout and is no longer leading the group's military actions. The Hamas-run authorities in Gaza say more than 27,000 Palestinians have been killed in the war so far. Israel says 226 of its soldiers have been killed in its offensive. The Israeli military assault on Gaza was launched after 1,200 people were killed in Israel and more than 250 hostages were captured in a surprise Hamas attack on October 7th. Well, for more on this, we really spoke to our correspondent, Jody Cohen. Jody, do tell us about the first day of Secretary of State Antony Blinken's visit to West Asia. He was in Saudi Arabia, of course. What can you tell us about what was discussed? Right, so Secretary of State Blinken is taking his fifth tour of West Asia since this war began. On Monday, he met with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. They reportedly discussed boosting ties between Saudi Arabia and the US, a potential normalization deal between Saudi Arabia and Israel, as well as governance in a post-war Gaza. Now, remember, before this war, there were reports saying that countries were close to all these deals, um, including a pathway to a Palestinian state. And in fact, the war was seen by many as an attempt to derail the normalization efforts and the parties have indicated that they could be back on track after the war. Now, this could reportedly involve what's being called the Biden Doctrine, which would be to recognize a Palestinian state once the war is over and the Palestinians have made reforms. Netanyahu has indicated that the Palestinian Authority needs to stop funding, teaching and supporting terrorism. Now, as part of this tour, they're also thought to be discussing preventing the spread of the conflict in the region, presumably explaining the US strikes against Iranian-backed groups in Syria, Iraq and Yemen in response to strikes on US personnel and shipping in the Red Sea. So Blinken certainly has a busy agenda. This tour has just begun. What's next on the agenda? And do you think it's likely Blinken will be able to achieve a long awaited ceasefire during this particular tour? On Tuesday, Blinken is in Egypt meeting with President al-Sisi and reportedly seeking an enduring end to the Israel-Hamas war. Now, the State Department have said that they're going to be talking about diplomatic efforts to try to secure the release of the remaining 136 hostages, six of whom, of course, are American citizens still being held captive in Gaza. Now, as part of this proposal, um, it's thought to involve a humanitarian pause enabling more aid to reach Gazan civilians. And of course, 
Auditor reports the pause in fighting could be for more than one month and then with a further week to negotiate a potential extension of another three months truce. We're looking at over four months potentially in total. Israel is thought to have accepted this proposal, the initial proposal. Hamas still hasn't responded publicly. National Security Advisor in the US, Jake Sullivan, has said that he suggested it's not clear when or if a deal might come together. And after Egypt, we know that Blinken is traveling to Qatar, Israel and the West Bank. So lots of shuttle diplomacy going on. And in the meantime, the fighting between Israel and Hamas is continuing.